Hey guys, Goofy Soccer here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. This is Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, Episode 9, I believe now. And this is a full walkthrough for That's Fallout 3. And this is a cool series. I've been really enjoying replaying this game. So, why not stop? Why stop, I mean. Great. Except... <laughs> <clears throat> Enjoy. To go now. Have a good Hello. Now we gotta go give our scrap metal to Walter. So all those pre-war books and everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually disarm the bomb now, I believe. Um... Walter in here? Yes, he is. Interested in buying some scrap? Let's take all the scrap that I have. All right. Let me count out your caps. All right. Let's go now. Now we can go to Moriarty's Saloon. First time we're actually going there, and it's funny because it's so late in the series and we're just starting to go there. It's quite rare. Usually it's one of the first places you should go. But, like I said, we're not following the main quest line. I'm more focused on getting the We Sense Survival Guide finished first. I like that. And then we can do the main quest line. Moriarty Saloon. Every hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? You're kidding me? <laughs> nah, I hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, I've gained karma. That's so nice of me. I'm just like such a peachy guy. I'm nice to everyone. <laughs> I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Whoa, sorry about that noise. Maybe you've seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Hey, Pearl, what do you need? I thought you said you couldn't talk to me. Where'd you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. I need a drink. Sure thing. Well, that was weird. Mm, let's see. What do we not need? What do we not need? Oh, yeah, pre-war money. Don't need that. Weapons. Don't give me back that one then. Um, police baton. Turn spike knuckles. Sweet. Except earned even more caps. See you soon, drunkie. How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Stimpaks. 
sells them at a discount too. Um, so why don't I sell you my bottle cap mines in return? I'll also sell you my good aid. Nothing at all. I'll pay for that actually. I'll definitely pay for that. So if I ever want stim packs, I gotta go to Gob. It sells me at a discount. So Nova, what's up? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's gonna help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. What's the story with the ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Whoa. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know. Where'd he come from? Underworld, blah, blah, blah. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times. But other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Do you ever, you know, work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just... Well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Whoa. Johnny's that are squishier than me are one of them. Okay, then. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Uh, what were you saying about radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was God banging on that radio? Well, Enclave Galaxy News Radio. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. How much for a room? Well, for you? No thanks. Nope. So what's it take to hire you? It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. Alright, what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Are you serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. <laughs> it's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Alright, I have to go now. Hey. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Wait. You're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. 
throw yourself throw in an extra 500 caps so and you've got yourself a deal well played whoa an extra 500 caps in addition to the base fee when megaton lies in ruins here's the fusion pulse charge place it in the bomb I didn't think that'd work but I'm not gonna do it anyway I think I'm gonna keep megaton alive it's southwest of here well out of harm's way you can't miss it any questions Messing with that bomb seems pretty technical. What if I can't do it? Lack the aptitude, you mean? You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have some. Oh, so he's a druggie. He's got a bit of a reputation. Talking about a lot of innocent lives. Burke, can I warn them? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. So why? It's time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. Alright, so do I still have an option to keep it? Disarm megatons of time bomb or rig it to explode. Optional, ask Leo Stahl about the brass lantern about buying mentats. Alright. Do that in a sec. Why don't you look where you're going? Where's Moriarty? He's right here. Yeah, with Colin Moriarty at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Looking for my father, middle aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh my god, it's you. The little baby boy, all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. That you were born in that home. That he was born there as well. Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy Lloyd. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Mm, my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding. Dad talked to you all the time. That really, where is he? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, 100 caps, and Daddy's location's yours. I don't have 100 caps. All right, kid. And I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps, and we'll talk. What's it to be? A waste. Can you tell me where my father is now? You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. Sorry, but we had a deal for 100 caps. Oh, no, no, no. I offered a deal for 100. But why? 100. I'm being... being. Okay. Well, that's it. You know what? Actually, I have to go now. So let's load. Where's the last load point? Oh, it's all the way out here, isn't it? 
Alright, load auto went warrior D saloon. That I saved in the saloon. Whatever. I'm just gonna skip all this dialogue then. Hey, smooth skin. Uh let me think. No! Oh no. Uh I did everything wrong. What have I done? Hey, smooth skin. Let me think about it for a moment. I hadn't planned on it. I'm looking for my father. I was oh wow! I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body. I'm Maybe this is better. Now look at it. Very well. Moriarty keeps the computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. Okay. Thanks. Good to see you again. Where'd you come from? Please. We already listened to this. I have a Galaxy News Radio. Okay. Whoa. I really need to get on the terminal. Oh, Mr. Moriarty never lets me back there. If you need to get into the terminal, you should talk to Nova. She'll help you. But it may be expensive if you catch my meaning. How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Alright, so where were we? We were selling him our bottle cap mines. Plus our police baton. Plus our spike knuckles and the tire iron. We also sold him... Our pre-war money. Then we sold him nothing else, did we? Except... See you soon, drunky. Alright, goodbye, Gob. Okay. Quick save here. Talk to Nova. I'm yeah. How much for room? No thanks. What's the start with the ghoul? Why is Mario already so hard for Ba ba ba. Let's talk about something else. Take the higher huh? news stations, blah blah blah. Galaxy News Radio, blah blah. blah. Moriarty's terminal. Okay, what can you tell me about Mor Moriarty's terminal? That stupid thing is his pride and joy. He keeps all of his dirty little secrets in it about everything that goes on in this godforsaken town. I once leaned on his shoulder when he was typing into it. He got pissed off and pushed me to the ground. Okay. Help me get into that terminal, Nova. Finding my dad means everything to me. Sorry, kid. Who? No. Okay, let's talk about something else. I have to go now. Hey. Quick load. So I'm just gonna skip hey. all the chit chat and then terminal. I want speech. Well, all right. All right. You seem like a good kid. It isn't your fault Moriarty is such an asshole. Here's the password. Just don't mention to anyone that I gave it to you. Or I might be out of my ass like silver. Alright, thank you. And then we go blah blah blah. Right at the top of the stairs. Oh crap, I just spent 120 caps on that. Whatever. Oh, I already bought a room. Just saying. I have to go now. Well, I wasted 120 caps, but we're alright. My, my. Okay, we already talked. You, you're, is okay, F9. My, my. No, no. Okay, sweet. Time for me to go. I only wanted to get that for the XP, by the way. F5. Alright, now that we quick saved, let's go back here. Talk to Colin Moriarty. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this. 
So we already listened to this. Stay the fuck out of me business. I keep these yokels knee deep in. So we're around town. Okay. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing, she's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Looking for my father. Okay, I just want to find my dad. Um. No thanks, I'll find that on my own. Will you? So, when you change your... Hidden. Alright. Let's, let's just hack this terminal right in front of him. Alright, residents. You don't need to read those visitors. James, Fall 101. So I don't know where. James came back to Megaton since he stayed here before. He asked me where the heck I could find a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC and, he's, and that guy 3Dog. Then like that, he was gone again. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to or be able to get into a fall. But he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby. It wouldn't shut up. Normally, I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then, like that, he ducks into Vault 101, and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but he never spends enough caps. Mr. Burke. That guy's a Class A weirdo. One day, I'm wiping down the bar, and the effort comes out from out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some sort of an opportunist to come through, whatever. As long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here until that dang bomb explodes in the center of the town, for all I care. So I lost karma. Found out where my dad was. Okay. Schematics. Bottle cap mine. Warrior's password. Lots of caps. <laughs> okay, that's a no. We already read this. Okay, find Galaxy News Radio is our quest. We'll do that later. Thanks for that, by the way. So let's go to stats. General. Good dignitary. Alright, up the stairs, let's go to our room. Can sleep a little, I guess. Is this our room? This is our room. Looking free. Whoa, she just I'm all rested, that's good. I have to go now. So no, this isn't mine, this is just my room. Alright, I'm not gonna listen to Mr. Brick. You haven't breathed the bomb yet. What if I can't can I warn them? No, messing with the bomb. No, time for me to go. Okay, let's ask Leo for Mentats. Brass Lantern. Where's the Brass Lantern? Is that the Brass Lantern? I think it is. We all know this is just his wife. It's on the menu. Oh yeah, I already bought everything from you. I have nothing to sell either. Alright, let's go into the Brass Lantern. Leo, where are you? Leo, sup my man. Come on. Pay more attention. Hey there, buddy. Good to see you. I understand you have quite a chem habit. <laughs> Damn it. Who told you I, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's okay, Leo. I want to help. Or, what's it worth to you to keep it out of the public eye? I can hook you up. A solid chem dealer is hard to find out here in the wastes. Trust me. I know. I can only sell to you when my shift at the lantern is over. Meet me up at the water treatment plant if you need some. I've lost karma. Oh. I can't believe I lose karma for that. How's the chem problem treating you? Look, keep your bullshit judgments to yourself, man. 
Just don't tell Jenny or Andy and we'll be fine. Helio, can you hook me up? What did I tell you? Helio, can you hook me up? <laughs> can you tell me about Megaton? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want... I'm not interested. I have to go now. So I can't believe I lost karma for that. It wasn't even anything bad. Alright. It's fine. Alright, now we need to receive a crippling injury. Best way to do that? I'm not sure. But I guess that could be that episode. That episode is kind of boring. I understand. Just talking. Asking around. Fighting out stuff all around Beckett Alright. Um, actually, I need to talk to one more person in Moriarty's saloon. I just ran past the sub saloon. Sun's up there, isn't it? It's right here. How do I get around to it? Okay. Never mind. I'm kind of silly. Where is Ward? Lucy West. Not Ward. Where's Lucy? There she is. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Yeah, sure I am. Stop to find something to do. I hope by something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arabu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some information about Arafu? Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where's Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Do you, do you suspect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Who else lives in Arfu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Was. Let me ask you about something else. I gotta go now. I know it means a lot. Okay, crippling injury. So I think what we're actually gonna do is. Hmm. Let's see, how far away is it? Oh, that is quite far. But we were already at Blood. Big town, so that's good. Um. How about quests? Power of the atom. Let's let's do this. Water treatment plant. We'll wait seven hours. Not seven, just four. Leo Stalin? No, that's Walter. Where's Leo? There's Leo. Good to Look, if you're going to tell on me, do it. Otherwise, tell me what you want and then get out of here. How's the chem problem treating you? Can you hook me up? What'll it be? 
Oh. Dang. Okay, then. Okay, I have to go now. What was it? Oh, I gotta buy Mentats. Ah, it's you. Just one. Just one Mentat. Okay. Enjoy the... Can I complete the optional objective now? Because I met him. Okay, then... If you're going to Okay then. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Whatever. It's a bit silly. Alright. Oh god, that's a huge fall that I do not want to take. Okay, let's fall down here. Then down here. And then yeah, tactically jumping. Alright. Oh, let's see here. Let's disarm the bomb. I want to keep this keep this place. All right, attempt to disarm the bomb. Disarm. Congratulations, you have successfully disarmed the bomb. Sick. Okay. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Alright. Have to go now. Hey there. Quest completed. That's nice. I like completing quests. Notes. Note from Leo Stahl. Okay, let's go to the water plant again. Now that I read the note, maybe that will change yeah. something. You need something? I didn't mean to drink that. Not to do that. Look, if you're can, can you hook me up? <sighs> Exit. So it, it's not working. Don't even think of breaking into that. This must, now we can go maybe visit Mr. Burke or something. say like screw you Tim and we can end off the episode God bless the USA Whoa. Ah, look at this new blood tell me boy you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot. And any patriot worth his salt is gonna toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why do you spread the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Hey. Kidding? Why, that's unthinkable. 
Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? Um... Do you think people who fought a war with tyrants wanted unquestioning support? Well, when you put it that way... Way... You're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask? Or were you done with your crazy talk? If you've never seen the Enclave, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything, so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. Not in a good way. Or the Enclave anyway. They're the American government. The Eagle. People come Weaver. The more perfect union. I have to go now. God bless the Enclave. All right. Hey there. Making a move, huh? Got something on your mind? All right, I think I'm just gonna end off this episode here, guys. If you enjoyed, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, watch later, anything. Bookmark this channel, you know. I also upload Darkest Dungeon, Wasteland 2, pretty much anything. Magic Minecraft. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.